back in the place to be. You are rolling with the D. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Trying to get these uh, little this bandwidth issue we've got going on here. Pulling on the network. About to about to break the internet with this first show of 2015. That's how serious it's getting out here, guys. We're about to break the internet. So everybody's pretty pumped. See everybody on Facebook. Welcome to 2015. Everyone's got it going on. They got their and they got their uh, their posts coming through from all different all different walks and arenas of life. Everyone's ecstatic to see what 2015 has in store. You know, when I when I see people, they get like they're excited, right? They're like, "Oh, I'm excited to see what 2015 has in store for me." You know, I like to flip that around. And and I'm looking at it like, you know, 2015 needs to be excited to see what I've got in store for it. You know, that's 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 just a shift. That's a shift in mindset. You know, 2015 needs to get prepared for what I've got in store for it. You know, so think about it. You know, are you going to happen to 2015 or is 2015 going to happen to you? I suggest you happen to 2015. I suggest you make this your year. Unless you want 2015 just to handle you. Unless you're going to let 2015 just to whoop up on you. You're just going to let 2015 just handle you any old kind of way. So I want you to be thinking about that. What are you going to do? Are you going to happen to this year? Because, you know, you don't want to be next year. You don't want to be... At at the end, I know some people I was talking to as the year was going by, you know, some people I, I was talking to, they're just like, oh man, like 2014, like, oh, it tore me up. Like 2014 was like, psh, handled me. You don't want that to be you. You don't, you don't want 2014, how it handled, you don't want that to be the story in 2015. So I'm here just at the top of the, at the top of the year, top of the morning, you know, January first 2015 it's 105 a.m is the very first rolling with the d special edition new year's day edition slash we were new year's eve we literally crossed over from one year to the next live on on the stream if you're on the podcast listening thanks for listening thanks for following thanks for being here what am i doing here why am i at 105 a.m the very first of the new year 2015 why am i here doing this why is rolling with the d happening right now and i'll tell you why because i want to get the mindset set the pace the mind needs to be set you know just like they reset the clock they reset the calendar january 1st we got to reset our mind we got to set it up for the next 365 days and how we're doing that is I'm, I'm bringing to you this episode, talking to you about the 365, talking to you about the great, as I call it, the great equalizer. <clears throat> 365 is the great equalizer. The 365 that I'm talking about, the time that we have, that is the great equalizer. So it doesn't matter where you grew up, where you're from, what countries, race, sex, color, level of education, the great equalizer is the 365, the time that we have. And I'm breaking down this formula for you guys real quick. So let's check this out. So you just started. Here's your new year. You're in it. You know, I don't know where you're at. I know these guys, these guys are going off the chain out here with these, uh, these fireworks every two seconds I hear. Boom. <laughs> Sounds like a, uh, you know, Saving Private Ryan reenactment going on out here. It's crazy. Be careful out there. So the 365 is the great equalizer. Happy New Year's. This is Sunny D. You're rolling with the D. Talking about the great equalizer. We got a little little bubbly with some uh, some genetically modified strawberries. <laughs> I mean, these things are huge. They're, um, they're on strawberry steroids, I think. 
but you know what? They're pretty tasty. So we're having a little, having a little, uh, little shrimp cocktail, some, some bubbly with strawberries. It's all good. Happy New Year's. Happy to be here. Talking about the great equalizer. I'm going to leave you with this equation before we go to the West Coast. Because the West Coast, they're, they're still, you know, they're, what time is it over there? 11, 10. Let's see, we got one, we got, so 12, 11. Yeah, so it's 10 o'clock over there. 10 o'clock, they still got two hours. They're not even close to where we're at. We're already into the new year. We're already an hour deep in the new year. It's 1.08 a.m. We're already an hour into the new year. So think about this. 365, the great equalizer. I broke it down. I'm going to go through the equation, and I'm going to talk about the three things that you have to produce. Starting with 365, what is that? 365 days. Let's talk. Let's break it down into its smaller working parts. You got the total number of hours you're working with, 8,760 hours. If we give you eight hours a night to sleep, eight hours times 365 days, you're talking about 2,920 sleeping. Lights out, snoring, you know, one of those. That's your sleep. If you're doing eight hours a night, which most of us aren't. I know I'm not. I'm probably at five. So when I get to my production hours, mine go way up, right? Because I'm not doing the eight hours. I'm going to work on that this year, though. I'm going to get, I'm going to squeeze in an extra couple of hours, force myself into it, right? So out of that, once you take away the sleep, you're still s sitting with 5,840 hours. What else do you have to do, right? You got to work. Maybe you don't. Maybe you do, but you should be, right? Produce some kind of result, contribution to society, put food on your table. Most people are working around 40 hours a week if you're working full time. And you're working about 50 weeks a year. Can you believe that? Two weeks you're off. You're not doing anything because of a holiday or, you know, like tomorrow might be one of your, your first day of the year. <laughs> you're already off. You're already, you're already getting lazy on us. First day of the year, you're not even working. Come on, let's get it going. So when you take all those days away, take the days that you took off, maybe sniffles, whatever the case may be, you're now left with 50 weeks. So if you're working at 40 hours a week, we're talking 2000 hours. 2,000 hours, you're working, you're working. So when you're working 2,000 hours, hopefully you're actually working 2,000 hours. Hopefully you're not, you know, goofing off, sitting on sitting on somebody's, uh, on somebody's payroll, right? Checking your Twitter, Facebooking. Hopefully you're putting in some, uh, some good work time there. We're not going to get into that, but we know that it's not the case for most most uh, people. If you're clocking 40 hours, you're, I think the, the number was somewhere around like 32. <laughs> 32 are actually uh, doing the, the work that you're being paid to do. But yeah, that's all in this story. But anyway, we'll give you the 2,000 hours. 40 hours a week, 50 weeks a year. Once you... Knock that off of your, your bank, you're left with 3,840 hours. That's what you have left. <clears throat> and with that time that you have left, what I'm, what I'm saying that that time is for, that's time for you to produce. And there's three areas, three areas that I want you to be thinking about. Three areas that everyone produces in. You produce in this area either way. Whether you like it or not, you're producing in these three areas. Those three areas, number one is health. I'm going to talk about that for a minute. Your production of health, how do you know what you produced in the health arena? Ask yourself some questions. You want to know the real, the best way you can know how you produce in the health arena? Take off all your clothes. That's right. Get in your birthday outfit and go get, one of the, get in the full-length mirror. I want you to get in a full-length mirror and just stare at yourself. I want you to stare at yourself from the front, turn sideways. You know, if you got another little hand mirror or something, turn backwards, 
Turn the other side. I want you to get a 360 of yourself naked in the mirror. That's one of the best ways you can tell what kind of production you're doing in the health department. Other ways you can tell, I mean, how do you feel? Do you have energy? Do you have stamina? Are you always, eh? are you always dragging? Are you always tired? Are you always cranky? Are you this or are you that? I can always tell when my, when my production in my health arena is off, I got a bad attitude, I'm cranky. If I'm tired, I'm dragging. I can tell. So those are, those are key indicators. You look at yourself and you ask yourself, how do I feel? And that's going to tell you what your production is because you're producing health one way or the other. If you feel like crap, you're producing crap. If you look like crap, you're producing crap. Either way, you're going to know. But that's one of the areas that you're producing and it's health, 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 health. Number one. Number two, wealth. Okay. Now the wealth part, I, I want you to keep that separate from the work because you work, right? The value you bring to the marketplace, you get compensated for that. But then what you do with that compensation is where the production comes in with the wealth. If you're taking 10% of what you make or 10% or 15% or even 1% or you take 0%, there's going to be some kind of equation that's going to add up to your wealth, add up to your nest egg, add up to your bank, add up to your investments, add up to what you're putting away so you can get to a point where you're financially independent, meaning – you can live you can sustain and live the lifestyle that you want without ever having to hit those 40 hours again at some point that's where everyone wants to be we call it financial freedom financial security financial independence whatever you want to call it i call it wealth so wealth so how do you know how you're doing check on your savings check on your investments check on your assets you know, me as a business owner, I have multiple assets that produce revenue. So I look at the numbers of those assets. Are they producing? Are they growing? Are they, are they returning on the initial investment that I made? Are they returning on those, on those investments? Right? We started our company with psh, really nothing. I mean, psh, unbelievable. It was... It's a long story, but you know it was nothing. So I look at what the production is. You know, from starting that that first location, the, the second location, the third location, production, 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 because that's going towards my wealth. So I want you to ask yourself, what it, what kind of work is my money doing for me? What is it producing? What does my nest egg look like? How are my investments doing? How are my assets doing? If you're thinking about a company you want to start, that you're planning on it being. A part of your wealth picture when are you going to get it started stop the planning less planning more doing less talking more work that's it because if you're not doing it oh yeah i'm gonna oh, yeah, yeah you know we already heard all that in 2014 this is now 2015 so if you're still talking about it it's time to shut up and start working start hustling producing in the wealth arena because your time is ticking. These 3,840 hours, they're ticking. They're ticking. They're ticking. It's already 1, 1 16 a.m. Hour and 15 minutes. Gone. Never going to get it back. We're already, we're already deep into 2015. So I want you to think about your wealth. Whatever the unit of production that you're doing towards your wealth, that you're, the money that you're putting away, the money that you're not wasting, the things that you're cutting out to produce – towards your wealth, that's how you're going to ask yourself, what, how is that doing to know what your production rate is? And give yourself a score. You know, if it's zero, give yourself a zero. If you sucked, you sucked. Call yourself out. You got to be honest with yourself. You call yourself out. That's the only way you have to be. Got to, you got to call it like it is. Spade a spade. So those 3,840 hours... You have left to produce. Number one, we talked about the health. You know how to look Look at that. Look in the mirror. Ask yourself how you feel. Number two, the wealth. What are your assets doing? Are they producing revenue? Are they growing? Are you Are you on track to get to your financial freedom, to, get, to build your wealth up to where you can live the lifestyle you want for the rest of your life? And then the third one is going to be relationships. Look around. 
What kind of relationships do you have? What's the quality of the relationships that you have? You know, I get excited when you know, I'm around my team because, we, you know, we work on, you know, hair, right? That's what we do artistically and technically. We're cutting hair, we're coloring hair, we're styling hair. But I have great people. And that's really important because those relationships that I'm, that I'm cultivating and I'm harvesting, those are quality relationships. And then I look at you know, relationships like I have children, if you have children, if you're married, if you have family, what are those relationships like? Which ones do you need to work on? Which ones need improvement? Which ones have improvement? Which ones have fallen apart? Which ones, which ones this, is the, this is the big one, which ones, which ones are over? over. Both parties, Both parties just haven't realized, realized it yet. Maybe there's maybe a relationship, there's a relationship right, now right now that you know, you know is over, over, but you haven't you told, that told that person yet. Or that person, that person you, know, you know, they've been and gone. gone. You, know, you, you just, just have, just have to, to come to that official, official wrap, it wrap it up and done with it. it. So you got to look at your relationships. That's the other area of production. Are you producing quality relationships? Are you setting yourself up for quality quality relationships? Are the relationships you have a bunch of phony, phony, fake ass, fake ass relationships. relationships? You gotta be honest. Yeah, gotta look, look at it. Look at it. This is, this is before, before you get you started, get started, started, started making all these grandiose plans for 2015. 2015 that's that's just, just you look at the 3,000 hours and 40 hours, 40 hours, 14 hours, and figure out how you how spend them. Or else you're going to roll in the this year, and guess what's going to change? Nothing, nothing. You'll do the same thing. Trust me, trust me. Many years, Many years I looked for change and never saw change, 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 never saw change, change, change. Because I wasn't I assessing, I wasn't looking at what I was doing. doing. And that's and where, it's where, you know, this you know, year, this year it, has it has the has same, same potential, potential as last year. It has the same 365 days as last year. It has the same 8,760 hours as last year. did. You have the you same have the potential, same potential as, last as last year. The difference is, is what are you going to focus on? And if you can get your focus clear and you can get your, your, your crystallization of what you're doing with your 3,840 hours, some people didn't even know they had that much time. Some people, you know, you talk to them, oh, we just take it day by day. Really? Really? Take it day by day. Take it day by day. That sounds like, uh, you know, you're getting assaulted. It sounds painful. But I want you to think about that. Because the great equalizer, the 365, this is your 365. This is 2015. 2014 is, is history. Unless you're on the West Coast, we know you guys are still trying to catch up. But for everybody else that's over here on the East Coast, in the 2015, Happy New Year. I want it to be a happy new year. I want it to be the best year of your life. I want you to make this year count. And the way you're going to do it is you're going to you're going to break it down and you're going to really be accountable for those 3840 hours of productivity, focusing on the health, focusing on the wealth, focusing on the relationships. Those are the top three. You know, the other ones, when we do our goal-setting workshop, we, we go into professional, we go into spiritual. You know, we look at what the business goals are. But those top three, the health, the wealth, you know, the health, you know, slash it's physical, right? The health, the wealth, which is the financial part and the relationships, you know, those three things, you know, make up the, the meat and potatoes of your productivity, and you're producing in all of those areas regardless or not. My goal is for you to realize that and to be producing in those areas the results that you want. So you stick with you stick with me. You hang with Sunny D. You roll with the D. This is the kind of information we're going to be hacking all year long. How you can get the most out of those three areas. How you can be the most productive in those three areas. That's our big focus. And we're going to tear this thing up. 2015 this is going to be a 2015 unlike any 2015 any 2015 has ever seen so i want you to strap in i want you to get ready for an amazing year 
you'll be checking out Rolling with the D. Make sure if you're on the podcast that you are a subscriber and you're sharing this. And if you leave a rating and review, I'm looking at those ratings and reviews in the iTunes story. Leave a rating, leave a review. I have a gift just for you, my friends. So I want you to be leaving a rating and review. And I want you to recommend the podcast. Share it with somebody. If you're watching the live show, share the show. Don't be greedy. Share the show with your friends, with your family, anybody you think that could benefit from the show. Anybody you think that you care about, your team members. I got a lot of really cool things coming. I'm going to be doing uh, quite a few speaking engagements. We have the book coming out. We've been talking about the book. You guys uh, saw the cover. If you haven't seen the cover, boom, there it is. Your first year in the beauty industry, how to not just survive but thrive in the beauty business. We start shipping in about uh, 24 to 48 hours. So we got pre-orders already happening. If you want to pre-order the book, you go to the salon one that's the number one, dot net. You can pre-order the book. You get it on a special price right now on the website. So make sure you check that out. And I'm going to be, that's, that's going to be your GPS to navigate you through the first 12 to 18 months, the hardest part of the beauty industry. Now, maybe you're a veteran. You're like, all right, all right. I'm, I'm not my first year. I'm in my fifth year. Well, let me ask you this, dear old five year. Are you where you want to be? Are you where you thought you would be? Are we where you ought to be in the five years? Because maybe it's time to hit the reset button. Because trust me, this is the this book is called the title is your first year in the beauty industry. But I guarantee you, there's going to be stuff in there for the veterans. There's going to be stuff in there for all the newbies and everybody in between. So make sure you grab a copy. Easy read. Tons of tons of tons of solid content in there. Super excited. So that's coming out. I'm going to be traveling around speaking promoting sharing got a lot of cool things coming out of the art department some of it's top secret you'll just have to wait and see super excited about that tons of tons of cool things happening with the rolling with the d show so we'll be here with you guys you'll be able to check us out each and every day make sure you get caught up on the episodes we've dropped so many episodes i think somewhere around with the rolling with the d show on wheels and the live shows the extended versions Jeez, how many we gotta be over i mean probably about 115 unbelievable unbelievable content creating content loving every minute of it got some new products coming out got some new services some new programs that we're doing we've been doing these haircutting workshops for beauty school professionals beauty school i guess they wouldn't be called beauty school professionals yet because they're they're future professionals well beauty school uh students we've been doing to really just kind of fine-tune their skills you know so we're doing these are very intimate workshops you can find out more about those on our website the salon one.net Look in the education area for the workshops. Have those rolling out. Doing a monthly right now. We might even go to a bi-weekly, potentially weekly, just depending. But they're super small, you know, very small groups of people. We got one coming up in a couple weeks, hands-on haircutting, awesome stuff. My passion, so I'm loving that. I'm teaching those personally. So make sure you get plugged into that. Some other cool programs and products coming out, some business programs some salon programs you know we've got a lot on the on the horizon for this 2015 it's going to be amazing it's going to be amazing so we've been sharing some of our our favorite products that we use we share some of those ads and i wanted to uh, hit you guys with one because this is the time of the year when you need to start thinking about your finances because what season are we going into you know it. your favorite your favorite season your favorite season it's called tax season everybody it's tax season what's going on with your taxes i know what's going on with mine you want to know what's going on with mine delusha and co that's what delusha and co you got to check out michael over there at delusha and co 
If you really are ready to simplify your life with some modern real-time accounting, then you're going to want to go visit Michael and his team at Delusha & Co. They offer a variety of different services. You can get help with your accounting over there, some bookkeeping, taxes, tax planning, financial planning. Not only just for you as an individual, but also for your whole entire business. So if you're looking to save time, save money, get in touch with Michael to help. They're utilizing all of the latest innovations in the cloud. You know about the cloud. Everything's in the cloud now. If you're not in the cloud, then you're, you're not in. So you got to get in there. Get in the cloud. They got cloud-based technology. They're going to be able to help you grow your business. And they can adapt to any platform no matter what you're working with currently. Give Michael a call. They'll give you a consultation and get you all set up. They are truly accountants. They're my accountants for the digital age. And they'll keep you up to date. Michael is uh, passionate about what he does. You want to get in touch with him. They're going to get you all the latest strategies. Keep you up to date with all the latest solutions. So get in touch with Michael and Delusion Co. Visit them at DeluciaCo.com. That's DeluciaCo.com, D-E-L-U-C-I-A-C-O.com. Also, you can give them a call over at 813-252-0-TAX. That's 813-252-0-TAX. Delucia and Co., if you're ready to simplify your life with modern, modern, 2015 modernist, real-time accounting, then get in touch with Delusia and Co. at DeluciaCo.com. That's DeluciaCo.com. And Michael will get you guys hooked up. One of my one of my favorite products. So only products that you'll see recommended on the Rolling with the D show are going to be products that we use, that we stand behind, that we trust and believe in. I'm not going to be schlepping any other stuff on here. So if we have a favorite product, you'll see some some you'll see some love shown to it. That's pretty much it. That's how it works. So Square, Awake, some of our other favorite products we've been shouting out all year long, our own products. You got a product, you think it's awesome, get it to me. Let me check it out. Let me be the judge of that. And if it's awesome and if we love it, then we will give you a shout out as we build our network out here. So Folks, I'm going to get rolling out. You've been rolling with the D. Your first, uh, what are we at? 1.30 a.m., January 1st, 2015. Your first hour and a half of the new year. How? What better way to start off your year than with that little, little tune-up, a little mental mind shape tune-up with your chairman of mindset development here to unleash your greatness, here to help you unleash it. Because I know if you can hear me, if you can see me, if you're within the range of my voice, whether you're in podcast land, you're on YouTuber, you're a Ustream.tv, wherever you're consuming this content, then I know that you've got greatness in you. And 2015, isn't it time? Isn't it time to let it out? Isn't it time to ditch all the excuses? Isn't it time to ditch all the lame-ass reasons why you aren't where you want to be? Are you ready to do that? Are you ready to unleash? Then you stick with me. You stick with Rolling With The D where we're hacking the bob, the business of beauty, and we're hacking life. We're hacking the mindset. We're breaking it down, figuring out how it works, ready to take it to a whole nother level. So thanks for being here. Happy New Year's to you and your family, your friends, your businesses, your colleagues, your teammates. Anybody who's watching, happy New Year's. If you're listening, happy New Year's. Make sure you're sharing the content. Look forward to tons of exciting things this year. I'm really excited. And on that note, be safe. 2015 is upon us. Talk to you guys real soon. Take care.